Have you ever had a conversation with a potential prospect or a prospect and it just wasn't being received? It just wasn't going the way you hoped it would go? Did it feel like it was falling on deaf ears? Well, I've been there too, and I've learned how to solve that. So that's the topic of today's episode. This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Bachelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. So you've heard it say that prospecting isn't about convincing. It's about sifting and sorting. You don't go looking for gold and try to become an alchemist and turn the sand or the dirt into gold. You just learn how to sift as comfortably as possible, as quickly as possible in the right places so that you have the highest likelihood of finding the gold and letting the gold reveal itself as you sift through the dirt and the sand, right? However, I've got some contrary news to that conversation, a contrary view to a point. Yes, it's about finding the people and sifting and sorting. And in addition to that, we are not rocks. We are human. We have emotions. We have minds and we have thoughts. And a yes is not a yes forever. And a no is not a no forever. Because there's a, a, a golden rule that says, I don't know if it's a golden rule, but here it is a golden rule that says people are always making and remaking decisions. People are constantly making and remaking decisions. That could be moment to moment at times. It could be year to year or uh, over time. And therefore, uh, nothing is permanent. And uh, if the environment is just right, then because we're human, you know, sort of uh, symbolically, yes, you can turn uh, dirt and sand into gold if the environment and the message and the timing are right. So I put together as a gift to you for being a listener to our 365 Day Journey to Freedom podcast, uh, uh, it's really another tool that'll help you. Uh, it's just a it's a five-page cheat sheet, but it has, through the decades, I have compiled uh, techniques and approaches and, and wording and sequence of word notes from the legends that I've interviewed, the conferences I've been to, the webinars I've been on, the conference calls, the books I've read, and just flat out trial and error have found what works for me. And there's more than eight things, but I've included eight, my top eight steps. So you can kind of coach yourself because sometimes it's something you're not saying or doing that causes your message not to be well received. Sometimes it's something you could say and add into your conversation that will drastically improve how well your message is received. So I put together the top eight. There are more than eight again. And sometimes it's a matter of tonality or pace or some little thing you're doing that you're not even aware of that an outside person will notice that can coach you into uh, doing it even better. But these eight uh, processes, these eight steps, these eight pro tips, if you will, on prospecting should help you enable, uh, should help you to, and enable you to coach yourself to get a dramatic improvement in the process of prospecting. You know, sometimes uh, it's the little things that make a big difference. Sometimes it's the littlest thing that makes the biggest difference. And I don't know what that is, but with eight steps, you might be able to find something very useful, if not all eight. I personally like number three the best because number three is what has enabled me to make my prospecting much more enjoyable, take the pressure off myself, take the pressure off the prospect, 
and actually get a higher percentage of uh, a positive outcome than I would have doing it without step number three. So it's improved my, my results as well as the, the enjoyability of the process itself. So that's been the one that has made the most difference for me, but they all have made a noticeable difference in my prospecting. So that's why I've included these as my top eight. So it's yours as a gift for listening uh, to our podcast. You can download it. You can put it by your phone. Uh, you can put it by your computer on your wall or have a PDF. Uh, it's a PDF, so you can have it on your device so you can reference it as you're making phone calls. You know, I do it. I even forget these at times, although I've used them for a long time. I even forget them and they all don't apply to every single conversation, but you can try to apply as much of it as you can. Again, it can even work in your text messaging, your emails, primarily your conversations. But just go ahead and download it. It's a free gift. And that's today's uh, episode to journey to your freedom in, in one year. And that can be found at podcast. I'm sorry, at prospectingcheatsheet.com, prospectingcheatsheet.com. Hey, you don't have to be uh, a perfect speaker or a scholar or have an high IQ to make it in network marketing. Just simply find those that can. Just get out there and do it and fine tune and improve over time. And that's what this eight page, I mean, eight tip, five page cheat sheet should do for you. With that, until tomorrow, this is day 30. Join me in the journey. Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.